Hey, Patrick Scott here with a word of encouragement. So, big weekend this weekend, Super Bowl Sunday. By the way, both of the teams in the Super Bowl are quarterbacked by SEC quarterbacks. LSU Tiger quarterback Joe Burrow is leading the Bengals, and UGA Bulldog Matthew Stafford is leading the Rams Go Dogs. But there are <clears throat> there are a few other guys that are playing this Sunday that I want to spend just a moment uh, talking about. And the reason I want to talk about them is because of their very public faith in Jesus Christ. First of all, the Rams wide receiver Cooper Cup. Cup is constantly pointing back to God as the reason for his success and the reason why he can say stay so grounded in his rise to fame. In an interview earlier in the season, he, he kind of paraphrased uh, Proverbs 16.9, and he said, The heart of a man chooses his path, but the Lord establish, establishes his steps. And then he added, it just gave me so much freedom to go out there and play free, giving everything I had and know that the results rested in him. Also, another Rams player running back, Sonny Michelle. Go dogs. Michelle told reporters during a previous trip to the Super Bowl, ironically, when he was playing against the Rams in that Super Bowl, he said this, Without Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, there is none of this. We get all this glory, but the glory is not for us. It's for Him. We do this for Him. That's kind of my purpose. So really, none of this matters to me. And then Bengals place kicker Evan Shooter McPherson. The Bengals are in the Super Bowl, quite frankly, in large part because McPherson ended the last two playoff games with game-winning field goals. At the press conference after the AFC Championship game, he showed up wearing a God is Good t-shirt. He also regularly quotes scripture on social media, and when he was named the AFC Special Teams Player of the Month in December, he posted glory to God on Instagram along with 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. And then Bengals linebacker Akeem Davis Gaither, he hasn't been a Christian as long as the other guys, but after he was baptized this last summer, he posted this, After 23 years, I am so proud to have given my life to Christ and received the gift of new life. God has done wonderful things in my life, picked me up from my lows, and humbled me in my highs. Every step of the way, God has blessed me in so many ways. I'm blessed that I'm able to share his love and let my life be a testimony of his unwavering love for us all. You know, these guys understand one thing in common, and that is they understand that, that all of them, that they've been called I mean, we usually reserve that word for preachers and missionaries. You know, you're called to the ministry. You're called to the mission mission field. But, but listen, I believe football players are called. Just like I believe doctors are called and dog catchers are called and lawyers are called and cooks and bottle washers and executives and artists and homemakers are called. What if you lived out your station in life as if you believe that God had called you to it? I mean, Peter tells all of us in 1 Peter 3.15, always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have, but do this with gentleness and kindness. So are you prepared? Are you prepared to share with anyone the reason for the hope that you have. Are you prepared? Because I believe you're called. And be encouraged. And go dogs.